now the branches of the cords the lateral cord of brachial plexus gives a small branch which is which is the lateral pectoral nerve which is not seen in this specimen next is the musculocutaneous nerve and last one is the lateral root of median nerve the medial cord of brachial plexus gives five branches not all of them are seen in this specimen one is the medial pectoral not seen the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm again not seen here is the ulnar nerve this ulnar nerve supplies lots of muscles in the hand and forearm next to it is the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm which supplies the skin of medial side skin of medial side of the forearm the last is the medial root of the median nerve so the medial root of median and the lateral root of median they join to form a thick nerve which is known as the median nerve the musculocutaneous nerve the musculocutaneous nerve is a branch of the lateral cord of brachial plexus it gives a branch to the small coracobrachialis muscle then it passes through the coracobrachialis muscle and lies lies between the break lies between the brachialis and the strong biceps brachii muscle supplies branches to both the heads of biceps brachii and to brachialis and it continues downwards as the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm supplying skin of the lateral side of the forearm till the ball of the thumb the important branch of the medial cord of brachial plexus is the ulnar nerve which lies in the upper arm it pierces the medial intermuscular septum and then descends in the posterior part to lie behind the medial epicondyle of humerus here is the ulnar nerve lying behind the medial epicondyle of humerus the branches of the posterior cord which is the thickest cord of the brachial plexus are the upper and lower subscapular nerves which supply the subscapularis muscle the thoracodorsal nerve and the important one is the axillary nerve the axillary nerve is one of the terminal branches of the posterior cord of brachial plexus it passes through a small space which is known as the quadrangular space passes in relation to the surgical neck of humerus and it supplies ends by supplying the big triangular deltoid muscle the biggest branch of the posterior cord of brachial plexus is the radial nerve it has a small course in the axilla where it gives branch to the long head of triceps brachii muscle then it passes through the radial sulcus of humerus and is seen in the lower lateral part of the upper arm it keeps giving branches to the lateral head medial head and anconius muscles and in the lateral lower lateral part get it gives again muscular branches it in the lower part radial nerve lies in the lower and lateral part of the upper arm it passes in front and enters the cubital fossa where it ends by dividing into a superficial branch and a deep branch on the back of the humerus here is the course of the radial nerve as it is lying in the sulcus for the radial nerve and it is liable for injury during fracture of the humerus the radial nerve can be marked on the back of the humerus as it is lying in the radial sulcus and it enters the lower part of the arm 
and this radial nerve is in close contact with the bone and is liable for injury during the fracture of this part of the bone.